Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about backpropagation, which is an important topic when it comes to understand how model weights get updated uh, during model training process. And by the end of this video, you would be able to understand the concepts of backpropagation, its importance and usage in neural networks. Folks, this is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all your favorite digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. Uh, this channel takes hands-on approach to build AI based products and applications. So if you are new to uh, this channel, then consider subscribing. Uh, to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. So in the previous video I discussed on how uh, during the model training a stochastic gradient descent engages itself to minimize the loss function by optimizing the model weights or updating the model weights with each epoch. Please note that uh, we run multiple epochs to minimize the error or loss function as much as we can uh, to you know reach the most optimized uh, model weights value model weight values okay i also covered how the updates to the model weights take space by uh, taking the derivative of uh, loss function with respect to weights in the model so this process of calculating the gradient or derivative to update the weights is called backpropagation. So let me go in detail now. So we have this neural network here, which has two hidden layers. Here I'm going to consider only single sample of input being supplied from the uh, you know, simplicity perspective rather than batch of input, okay? Uh, so let's revisit the training process first. So we pass that data to the model using an input layer and then data propagates further to the hidden layer and then finally to the output layer. We also know that each node in the model gets input from the previous layer and these nodes act as computations whereas edges are data or tensors as we discussed in the previous videos. Now the inputs to the nodes is nothing but the weighted sum of weights at each of these connections multiplied by previous layers output and then adding a bias in it. This weighted sum is then uh, passed to the activation function and the result of the activation function is the input for the nodes in the output layer. This entire process for uh, you know reaching from input layer to output layer via hidden layer and activation function is called forward pass and once we reach the output layer we collect this output for a given input in the model for example if we are classifying let's say car and aeroplane uh, images then each of these output nodes will correspond to a car or a aeroplane image okay an output node with the highest activation will be the output which the model thinks that it's the best match for the corresponding input. Now we calculate the loss or error on the output value received or the predicted value and the actual value. That is, we calculate the difference between predicted value of the output for a given input and the actual value or label. We then minimize this loss function or error using it stochastic de gradient descent that is taking the derivative of loss with respect to weight in the model and i have created a video on loss function so you can watch it to uh, get more information okay and i have given the link for the same in the i button above so you can click on there and uh, get the information about loss functions now back propagation comes into picture at this point onwards that is gradient descent now start updating the weights using back propagation in order to minimize the loss and in order to update the weights gradient descent look uh, looks at the output value from the output node so let's say uh, this specific uh, node maps to the output value that a corresponding given input value uh, corresponds to 
Keeping this in mind, gradient descent will understand that the value of that output node should increase and the value of all other output nodes should decrease. And by doing this, gradient descent will help increasing the, uh, sorry, decreasing the loss or uh, the error for the corresponding input. Now we know that the values of output nodes come from weighted sum of these connections or edges here, right? And this is multiplied by output from the previous layer and adding up any bias. So if we want to update the values for the output nodes for the, from the perspective of calculating the new error, then we need to back propagate or jump back in order to update the value of weights of these connections in the same way. Okay, we just discussed, right? So we continue this process until we reach input layer and we don't change any other uh, value from the nodes in the input layer since it's uh, it contains our actual input data. So in a nutshell, we move backward uh, through our neural network updating the weights from right to the left in order to uh, lower the loss or gradient descent, essentially, uh, you know, increasing the output value uh, for the correct output node and decreasing the output value for the incorrect output node, which is in turn decreases the loss, right? So the reason we are doing this in backward fashion is that uh, output of each layer depends upon the weights and uh, output of previous layer. So when we modify the uh, weights of those previous layer, then those modifications influence later layers, okay? The updated values we get for each of the corresponding weights are actually the corresponding gradient or derivative of the loss function with respect to each individual weight. And this same process will be uh, repeated for all the inputs we are providing to our neural network. The resulting updates to the weights is the average updates um, that are uh, calculated for each input, okay? or calculated for each individual input. So folks, this is it for this video. To conclude, I explained the back propagation and what is its significance in neural network model training. So let me ask you uh, today's question. Okay. How do we minimize the loss function during model training? And which method do we use for the same, in fact? more specifically if I ask. So please post your comments in the comment section given below because uh, I get, a, you know, by getting your feedback, I get a chance to, uh, you know, incorporate uh, any suggestion you are providing. So you can also ask your technical questions in the same comment section and I will be glad to answer your questions. And if you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber uh, to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.